Welcome back everyone, Panda Pops here and in today's video I am going to make a short and sweet video on how you can add games into the sandbox game maker. So I'm going to show you two aspects of it. I'm going to show you how you can export something you have made from Vox Edit to your account in the sandbox and then how you can add things from the sandbox site into the sandbox game maker so let's get right into it so what we've got right here is something that is completely finished that i can go and export to the marketplace so i've completely finished this i've got my animations i've checked them make sure everything is working perfectly fine and we go up here to file then export and we want to export to marketplace one thing currently only pre-launch asset artists are able to upload to the actual marketplace you guys can upload and have that in your account to put into the game but anything you see on the marketplace is from the pre-approved asset artists so just bear that in mind the so export to marketplace this is what we click it will also you'll need to choose one if you want it to uh, a default animation so what it will show to someone straight away usually the best one to go for is this one from right here i'm just going to click export and when you click export it automatically opens a web page for you so you guys are going to want to do new asset click that give it a name give it a description is does it have a behavior is it a fighter decoration all of that i'm gonna leave this blank for now then choose some categories press continue and then from here you don't well one don't click claim asset that is a bug don't click that uh, and also don't click send for approval just leave it you've left this then down here we've got the little me button go here go to our inventory over by sort by go to unpublished right up here will be our asset it'll open the page and we can see everything it's made by me these are other things by me the creator what you need to pay attention to is this little icon down at the bottom we want to t uh, press the plus button and it'll say it's been successfully added to our inventory so that now when you open up the sandbox game maker will be there for you to view anything you've bought off of OpenSea or off of the marketplace will automatically be in your inventory anything you've spent sand on will be there regardless of you pressing that little uh, plus icon so right here inventory assets all of this will appear now if you're browsing the marketplace you'll notice that there's two two sections there's the ones where things are worth sand and to be able to put those in your game you need to own you need to buy these you need to have them owned another thing to note is you can buy let's say you want this uh dragon spa right here if you buy one you can use that multiple get times in one game and upload that one game to the metaverse and you can use that as many times as you want however if you have uploaded a game to the metaverse using that asset and you want to create a second game also using this you will need two of those bear that in mind as well so all these cost sand however right down here is just the ones that have not been minted now they may get minted in the future people may just leave them free for you to use bear that in mind but yeah you can just go down here and press all these plus buttons now oh cool one thing that you definitely should bear in mind 100 percent is if they decide to mint these they will still appear in your inventory however if you create a game and you want to upload it to the metaverse then you won't be able to without then needing to buy them so you'll still have those in your inventory you can create games with them and put them on the experience side and have people play them that way you just won't have it actually uploaded within the metaverse you would need to own it but after you have you know chosen everything you want to choose there's some really cool things here by the way 
after you've chosen everything you want to choose then this is the time to go over to the sandbox game maker so you can download this and create you can download game maker you can download vox edit they're both there both free for you to uh use so we've got this loaded this is the game maker where we can create a game i am just going to check this one you to create a new world you create new give it a name you could choose if you want the world to be empty lake desert never or meadow you can then choose up to a four by four just remember that if you are creating a game and you want it uploaded to the metaverse you would need it to fit a land that you own or hope that you'll be able to rent a land that size from someone else to place your game on that land but we are going to click this one this is where i do all my tests and then from here you can either click right at the bottom of the corner you can click this to open it up or you press l which will open up your inventory and if it is something that you have made you just name you type it in and you place it and there we go this is the old one let's just see how much difference that is and then to test it out in game you press tab I feel like it needs some more lights that's all you need to do is just type in or you can end up just scrolling through absolutely everything the one of the ones i put in from someone else was the monster house we got the monster house there whoa ness is huge got nessie right there just take a look at those very cool oh oh gosh nessie is it's an angry monster away nessie uh so yeah nice quick simple hopefully that will help you guys out understanding how you can then put your assets or put other assets that you've added into the game do you have any questions or if there's any tutorial something that you would like me to cover in a video do leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe smash that like button check out my other videos as well i really really do appreciate it and as always have a good morning afternoon evening goodbye